Today we are looking at a super unique special e-bike powered by a single side shaft drive system. This is a minimalistic compact e-bike that has an adaptive innovative technology with a very futuristic design. Shaft drives have been used over various automotive and industrial applications. They have been used in over 100 years in bicycle applications. We will not debate in this video which is more efficient or better. Han bike is probably the first electric bike that has this tech implemented. Why? Because it's the best application option if you're looking for the longest distance traveled without maintenance. And the other benefit of this drive is that it does not require cleaning since it's all enclosed and will last way longer versus traditional chain or belt drive that becomes less efficient when it gets dirty or stretched. The Han bike is the winner of four top designing awards. This is impressive. This shaft drive system is butter smooth. I have not come across any bike so far that the drive at the pedaling is so effortless and so easy. There's no chain or belt noise and the friction level is so minimal compared to the traditional drive. Just feels so much different. This bike comes equipped with a very smart system. We have several drive sensors that calculate the pressure you apply on the flats and heels and bike incline. This e-bike model also has a gyroscope smart drive. So what it does is depending if you're tired or if you're pedaling harder, Accelerating more intensively based on your effort and incline, the drive adjusts the power assist. It is hard to explain, but it's so cool, you have to try this in person. I tried pushing hard on flats after slowly reducing the intensity on the same incline while still pedaling, and the drive started to assist more. Going uphill, the bike reacted with more power output. If you push harder on the same incline, the bike will immediately calculate and reduce the assistance gradually, based on your effort levels. It is pretty impressive. Now let me show you how the bike was delivered and go over the unboxing and assembly. No chain, no fuss. Here, the seat post. And this should uh, look different, actually looks different, look at that. I believe the charger, the pedal, arm take it out in a second I want to see the bike first very nice uh, foam for the bike look at that this is cool so it looks like it's sandwiched between uh, the bottom part and the top put the plastic out. Oh, look at this rim I'm not sure if it's aluminum but it's uh, very light wow Interesting. This is the most unusual unboxing. I have not seen a bike that comes in this condition, in this uh, shape and form. So we have the front. So we also have the fender. And here is the bottom where the bike was uh, placed inside. It's a uh, sandwich between that part and that part. Uh, very clever packaging. Here's this awesome uh, drive shaft. It goes inside to the wheel, so I have to install that with the fender. And look how cool this is. You have this wire here, and it goes through the fender that connects into the rear light. So that should be the rear brake light. And I need to install now the this part. Here's the battery that came for this bike. Very small, very compact. We have here 36 volts, six amp hour capacity, a rated energy 216 watt hour. So charging current two amp. And uh, here's a seat, very unusual seat. And we have all this uh, residue from the packaging. Here's the box. We have the pedals. And these are plastic coated on the metal axle. Very unusual. And here we have the charger, which uh, we mentioned two amps. Very cool keys, I like this. Uh, the same foldable idea as the bike. This looks super cool, I like the design. And
assembly was under five minutes. This was fast, easy and fun. Guys, before we dive deep into the specs and pros with cons, I'd like to go over the shaft drive design. Humbike team is guaranteeing free of maintenance 40,000 kilometers. That's almost 25,000 miles. That is more than you probably ride your entire lifetime. This is so big. No more belts or grease chain swaps. The combined work of the gyroscope, torque and speed sensor is so precise. Once I place my feet on the pedals and start pushing, I think the response is almost instant. You can see here in the video, I'll increase the volume so you can hear the front wheel traction from the start. Guys, we have front hub motor rated 250 watts with maximum speed advertised 15.5 miles an hour. In my tests pushing with minimal effort, I cruise comfortably between 14 to 16 miles an hour. If I push harder but still able to maintain pedaling for a longer period of time, I can reach 20 to 21 miles an hour. We have a smart safety feature on this model. If you tilt the bike past 30 degrees sideways, the motor will shut off to prevent you from falling. A range. The bike has five levels of assist. I always test on maximum level. I weighed 220 pounds and I was able to cover 14.7 miles in range. Speeds between 14 to 21 miles an hour. This may sound slow to you, but average regular rider speeds are between 10 to 15 miles an hour. My friends, when we ride on the weekends, have speeds under 15 miles an hour, which is slow and annoying. So this is way more than enough for average daily commute riders. It was also cold and starts snowing, temperature 38 degrees. The battery. We have a 36 volt system and 6 amp hour battery capacity. The battery is so tiny, it can be charged in the bike or can be removed and charged outside of the frame. When you insert and turn a key, the battery is being spring loaded out of the frame. The battery is waterproof IP65 rating. The handlebars. The design is sleek and futuristic, similar to the high-end carbon fiber road bikes. The integration of the screen into the bar is seamless and beautiful. The screen is so clean, very visible, easy to read and has all the info you need. This is by far one of the nicest screen integration on a folder bike. The seat. Very weird and awkward looking. A bit uncomfortable at the start, but after 5 to 10 minutes riding, I found it manageable and you get used to it. I like to ride fast and pedal hard for all duration of the ride. Having this round shape on the top allows your legs to move with more freedom. And it's actually soft and longer into the ride, it gets comfortable to my surprise. Foldability. It folds easy and fast. I like the frame design and it's very minimalistic. Bike weighs 45.9 pounds. Down. And this is how the bike will stand when it's folded. Guys, the design is super cool and I like how the cables are heated inside the frame. The brakes are this mechanical and I wish we had hydraulics here. But this design looks so cool and easy to operate. Brakes were well set up out of the box. The wheels are light and the tires have a good grip. Installing the rear wheel was fast and easy. I like this double three-spoke rim design and the shaft-driven center locking wheel looks like this bike is from the future. The front single-sided fork reduces weight and adds the complexity and the bike design. It looks and feels like a high-quality product that is well-engineered. Pros the electric drivetrain is awesome, makes this bike so seamless and effortless to ride. In a city with narrow streets, this bike feels fast. Outside on empty or wider streets with less traffic, it will feel slow. It has a compact, futuristic design and great foldable system. More than enough range at the size and weight limit. No maintenance required up to 25,000 miles. Besides the features we mentioned at the beginning of the video, on this model you can replace the tires and tubes without removing the wheel. Han bike will have an app when production will start. Cons. I want to see hydraulic brakes here. The cable running outside the stem should be inside. If you're looking for a new bike with a throttle and over 20 to 25 miles an hour top speed and no pedaling, this bike is not for you. When you lift, carry or hold the bike, this handle really helps. But because the rear side is so much lighter, it tilts forward and feels heavier than it is. Using carbon or fiberglass parts to reduce the weight to 35 pounds will be a cool option. I would like to see a 350 watt version and 10 to 12 amp hour battery on this model. Potentially with carbon fiber frame to reduce the weight will be exciting. 
At this moment, Handbike is running Indiegogo campaign where you can reserve yours at lower price. Link in the description box. This was a review of the Handbike model. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll make sure I'll follow up. Please don't forget to like and share this video. This really helps to get cooler e-bikes reviewed here on this channel for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.